never be embarrassed about any part of Islam, no matter what it is. And be just like Salman al-Farisi. May Allah be pleased by him when he was asked by a disbeliever, someone who hates the Prophet ﷺ. He tells him, does your companion, meaning Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu does he teach you guys about everything? Everything, even how to use the toilet? Salman al-Farisi, may Allah be pleased by him, told him, yes, ajal. He was proud. Then he told him, he forbade us from doing three things when we go to the bathroom. What is it? He said, number one, he forbade us, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from facing the qibla, the direction of our prayers when we defecate or urinate. Number two, and he forbade us from using our right hand when we clean ourselves. Number three, and he forbade us from using less than three wipes. SubhanAllah, when cleaning oneself. This is an example how Islam emphasizes being clean and being purified, brothers and sisters, from minor impurities such as one urinating or defecating. May Allah protect us and grant us the ability to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah clearly said in the Quran how He loves those who purify themselves, where He says He loves al mutahirin and al mutahirin those who clean themselves from the minor impurity, as we mentioned, and from the major impurity. The major impurity, for example, menstruation, the state of janaba after having an intimate relationship with a spouse, there's a certain way where one is to clean themselves after these events. Brothers and sisters, we learn from the Prophet wasallam the importance of having an intention to go have the ghusl, shower after that major impurity, that the intention is that I want to perform this act. Number two, saying Bismillah in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then, don't forget Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then he would wash his hands three times. Then he would wash his private part with his left hand. After he is done Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, he would emphasize the cleaning of the left hand. Perhaps something came on it while we was cleaning. Then Alayhi Salatu Wasallam would to make wudu, like the one makes wudu to salah. Then after that he would pour three handfuls of water over his head alayhi salatu wasalam and in another narration he emphasized the scrubbing of the head then alayhi salatu wasalam would to wash the remaining of his body and from the sunnah is to make dua after one is done such as a dua is made after wudu now keep in mind that make sure the water comes all over the body if someone, for example, is a little bit overweight, just make sure that you know the, the layers of uh, the one's body and so on is completely covered. Under arm, sometimes we forget about it. Just be sure that the water comes all over the body and don't be too extreme and paranoid. Just may Allah grant us wisdom and understanding. And now, knowing sometimes it is difficult to do that because the cold water or it takes some time or early morning, Know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want this to keep in our minds insha'Allah. We don't see this just, oh, it's difficult. No, keep in mind, Allah loves those who clean themselves and purify themselves. al mutatahirin and al mutahirin May Allah make you an eye of those who clean ourselves in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.